Truth About Jim, a four-part docuseries out now on Max. I want to first put out the warning that if you are triggered in any way by any discussions around SA, you're being warned. Don't watch the, the this docuseries. I'll be honest with you. I started watching this and I had to turn it off for a little bit and come back to it. So just know that if you have any triggers, this could be triggering in a lot of ways. And it's very upsetting, actually. But it's it's truth that I think is good to have out there and, and should be told. But just know I'm putting that warning out there for you. It is about an investigator who is makes this documentary film and she's c confronted by traumatic past secrets of her family that has plagued her family for about three generations. Her mom's mom married Jim Mordecai and her mom was the stepdaughter to this man named Jim Mordecai who was a serial essayer to many. He was a teacher at a school and he, you know, didn't leave on good terms and he got away with it for years um, with young girls. She is investigating that since there's all this information about him now, he is now deceased. They're going back and and possibly believing that he could be a serial, a notorious serial killers from the 1970s, the late 70s, or was it the late 70s? Maybe it was all of 1970s. Anyway, this takes you on that ride. I would say the first piece to this is just rehashing story after story after story of all of the trauma this man caused. Do I think it needed to be four episodes? Absolutely not. I think the first episode could have been the stories about abuse and the second episode being why they think he's a serial killer. You're left with nothing, by the way. Spoiler alert. They never find out to this day. Um, I don't believe it. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe he could be. I just don't think that somebody that kills like that just automatically stops. That's my own opinion, but I could be wrong. Um, but the way that these murders were done, I just can't imagine someone just stopping and living in, well, he didn't live a normal life. He was still essaying people, but he wasn't killing people that people, you know, that anybody knew of. So um, I, I give this a two out of five stars. I'm even struggling with that. There were times where some of this seemed really convoluted. And the conversations between her and her mother, it just seemed forced and kind of like they already knew the direction that this was going. It wasn't like they were really investigating it while it was happening. At least I didn't feel that way. Um, but if you're into true crime, this is a good one to watch. Just make sure you're well aware of what the content is about. I mean, they warn you beforehand, but I'm warning you even more so because it is very dark. There, there's a lot of detail that goes into, into what he did to young women. So just be aware of that, that it does have a lot of that conversation. So out now on Max, two out of five stars though.